Sonar contact, bearing zero four zero. Sonar, bridge, bearing clear. Bridge, combat. Recommend 25 knots. Most mate, sound general quarters, set condition 1AS. All engines ahead flank, indicate revolutions for 25 knots. Sonar. Classification possible submarine. Bridge UB plot. Recommend ASROC attack. Con sonar. Contact Charlie is increasing speed. Has apparently turned toward us. Classify possible warship. Target. Bearing. Mark. Arrange. Mark. Bearing 221. Use masthead height, 85 feet, three-quarters division, high power. Range, 7,800 yards. Hang on to bow, zero. Target to destroyer. Use target length, 450 feet. I intend to shoot three torpedoes. Observation, number two scope. Up scope. Bearing, 301, speed, five. Bearing, mark, range, mark. Down scope. Bearing 220. Range 7,500 yards. Captain Plotter Force, best target course 040. Very well. Open the outer doors forward. I intend to shoot on the next observation. Outer door is now open, sir. Tube's ready in all respects. Very well. Final bearing and shoot. Up scope. Bearing. Mark. Dip scope. Set. Shoot. Fire. Good run. Secure the equipment. We'll do another exercise tomorrow. A battle of training devices at New London, Connecticut. Submariners use an attack trainer to sink a mythical destroyer. At Newport, Rhode Island, an anti-submarine warfare trainer teaches destroyer men how to sink submarines. While engineering trainees at Great Lakes, Illinois, operate a full-scale destroyer propulsion plant set up ashore. At naval schools across the United States, on intricate computer-controlled trainers, on giant mock-ups. The Navy teaches its men the wizardry of modern weapons, their skills for the sea. Recruit training, where a man is taught the basic skills for the sea. He learns to be part of the team. He acquires the fundamentals of military life. take pride in his company and in himself.
Today's recruit training introduces the man to the many and varied Navy skills which are available to him. He learns where he might fit in. His training provides a knowledge of all types of aircraft construction, experience with welding, maintenance of hydraulic systems. The Navy begins to learn, too, where each man belongs. He's tested. He's counseled. He's guided toward a career plan that suits his interests and his abilities. Your shop practice score bears out your mechanical score. Now, since you were guaranteed a school in the aviation field upon enlistment, it is recommended that you consider one of the Navy's aviation mechanical schools. Upon completion of recruit training, the recruit becomes a seaman, ready for life in the Navy. He may be heading for his first ship and further training at sea. Or he may move on immediately to a technical school. His Navy career is underway. New skills for the seaman. First, you train the man, then the team. Courses begin with fundamentals to give the student a solid foundation for more specialized training later on. Understanding the relationship between current and voltage in this circuit will be very important to you in your role as a fire control technician. Since our magnetic Carefully designed training aids help to make even difficult subjects more understandable. Inducing a voltage, which you can see on the voltmeter here, proportional to the amount that the CX's rotor was displaced. Programmed instruction is designed to make training more interesting and effective. Well, Questions are always point. welcome. They're the best indication as to how well the lesson is really being understood. Are there any questions? Petrowski. Yeah, what effect does the bias have on quiescent current? As you will see, as I increase my negative bias, this will cause the current flow in my load winding to decrease to zero. Step by step, the student progresses the from the simple to, this, to the complex until he has mastered the equipment he will operate and maintain. As the antenna sweeps across the shoreline, we'll be able to see on the scopes the buildings from here to Waukegan. If it weren't so foggy outside, we'd be able to see these same buildings through the window. Sea duty now, and the sailor practices the skills he learned ashore. Some scan the ocean depths with sonar identifying objects by sound, even listening in on the private conversations of porpoises. Others carry out the vital duties of navigation and communications. This is Echo, track 412, red, 145, tac, 185, out, with training and experience come promotions, greater responsibility, the challenge of leadership. Then, new skills for the sea, further training at schools which blend the individual skills of many men into a Navy team. Four, five, or sixty, Angels 34 station, over. This is Red Baron 22, we'll call 04560, Angels 30, out. Friendly 22045. Red Baron 22, your playmate's airborne, I'll join you on station, over. This is Red Baron 22, roger, playmate on station, out. The performance of one man affects everyone on the team. Each learns what it means to be entrusted with the lives and safety of others. Wherever possible, students train on real equipment. Bridge, main control, ahead standard speed. Operating procedures are practiced. 
until they become second nature. Sometimes the emphasis on total realism requires the duplication of whole sections of ships. This trainer teaches students how to prepare and launch the Terrier guided missile. Steady on course 340, sir. Very well. Make your depth 100 feet. Make my depth 100 feet high, sir. Make your depth 100 feet, 8 degree up bubble. 100 feet high, sir. 8 degree up bubble high, sir. Other men learn the complex task of controlling a nuclear submarine. Every movement of an actual submarine can be simulated, and every procedure practiced to perfection. Because situations can be created that would be dangerous or impractical in an operating submarine, the student learns more than he could from actual shipboard experience and in a shorter time. Very well. 120 feet coming to 100 feet, sir. Man battle station missile. Man battle station missile. One of the most complex underwater activities of all. These men are practicing an underwater launching of a Polaris missile. It calls for the precise coordination of many separate operations at different locations. Set condition 1SQ for tactical launch. A launcher lower level, lower level rig for 1SQ. Launcher, middle level rig. Upper level rig for condition 1SQ. Launcher in condition 1SQ. Supervisor, I. Weapons Supervisor, Fire Control Condition 1SQ. Supervisor Weapons I. Con Weapons and Weapon Systems in Condition 1SQ. Con I. Weps Con, you have permission to fire. Only a drill. Yes, but each step is as carefully performed as though it were the real thing. As far as they're concerned, the only difference is that instead of a missile, they'll be firing tons of water. Navy men have opportunities to participate in many unique programs. This is a pilotless helicopter originally introduced as a shipboard anti-submarine weapon system and now being tested for other applications. Commanding engine off. Stop my clock. Men are trained to control the helicopter for today's operational missions and for future uses. Maintenance personnel are trained to check out the aircraft and prepare it for flight. Mr. Magua, change place to a Mr. Galpin. Yes, sir. On our memory now. Going to station. Request permission to launch. Permission, Grant. Roger. Gyro's in. Umbilical release. A helicopter with a past and with a potential, fighting forest fires, delivering supplies, 
aiding in search and rescue. For all his technical know-how, today's Navy man must first of all be a sailor, trained in the skills of the sea. This means, above all, protecting and defending the ship. Once they aim to hit the drone, but modern fire control techniques are so accurate that now the guns are adjusted to aim behind the drone to save it for another day. It isn't as much fun, but it saves a lot of money. Firefighting schools provide training that enables Navy men to meet emergencies promptly and with confidence. In combating a fire involving a weapon, you must always try to keep the internal temperature of the weapon cooled down below 300 degrees. Okay, gentlemen, man your hose. Move out. USS Buttercup, a trainer used to teach damage control. Hit, port side, hit, port side, start your investigation. Evaluation is simple. If you keep the ship afloat, you pass. If it sinks, you fail. Flooding, department 2-4-0 Lima. Watertight hatch 2-8-11. Eat shore. Lessons learned on Buttercup have saved many a good ship and a good many lives. All this training takes a lot of thought and effort behind the scenes. Skilled technicians and training specialists produce teaching materials and training aids of all kinds to show how things work or to make concepts easier to understand. Often, teaching problems are solved by specially designed trainers. Take a look and see what the trainer's 
trouble might be. These trainers range from fairly simple devices illustrating fundamental concepts to complex trainers which simulate environments to duplicate every situation that could possibly be encountered at sea. Okay, Chief, we're ready to do the resistor shot now. Instructional television has found many important uses. Here, an expert in a technical field is teaching several classes simultaneously. Excess of current in an electrical circuit will cause abnormal heating, which could result in circuit damage or a fire. The lesson is also recorded on magnetic tape so it can be used over and over whenever needed. Tiny devices and their operations are scanned by television, and close-up views are brought to entire classes, where formerly only one or two students could watch at a time. We'll television also day. helps Let's to teach the teachers. The first, which is pneumatic, as you can see, remember pneumatic is orange and black. Now make that orange and blue. Orange and blue, be sure you check your notes that it is orange and blue for pneumatic. Pneumatic symbols on the right hand side is this weave pattern. Remember we said the weave pattern was for colorblind people to distinguish the lines they're working with. Our last one is hydraulic. Hydraulic is blue and yellow and the symbol pattern is circles. Once again, remember what this pattern is for. Instant playback for a student instructor. Seeing ourselves as others see us may be difficult at times, but self-evaluation improves the quality of instruction. Right, now watch out, make sure they see the exact color you're talking about. Although they come to be trained, the Navy knows that its students spend more hours outside the classroom than in it. Living quarters are comfortable and modern. Hey, how you doing? How'd it go today? How'd school go? All about like usual. Yeah, I had some problems with the SPS 10 today. I really have to do some studying tonight. I had one I have to look up There's too. plenty of room for homework. And for relaxation nearby. Checkmate. This is more like it. Are you kidding me? You guys have been lucky. You know it. That, 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 that was really good. Did you see that? Hi, Georgia. Hi, how are you? Let's go. Anyone who thinks Navy life is all work and no play should drop by the club some evening. Most of these men, their training will be the most challenging, 
exciting and rewarding time of their lives. When they come on board, they'll be ready. Ready to shoulder their share of the Navy's ultimate responsibility, safeguarding our nation's security. On, above, and beneath the oceans of the world.